As of this taping, the winner of the presidential election has not been determined, and votes are still being counted in several key states. Of course, you're watching this at 12.35 tonight, or maybe sometime Thursday afternoon. So if Trump won, will you please get in a time machine and come back to find and kill me? What a long, emotional, and confusing ride this has been. It's, it's like a Matthew McConaughey car commercial that won't end. This is all happening after a chaotic, nerve-wracking election night that featured all types of weird moments. Predictions flipping left and right, ballots being delivered with a police escort, Steve Kornacki's khaki butt. One reason for the delay in the other states is the massive amount of mail-in ballots. And those last ballots to be counted appear to be largely for Biden. Early on, things had looked pretty good for Trump. We had been warned that this would happen in what experts called a red mirage, which is either the character Elizabeth Olsen plays in the Marvel movies or Putin's code name for Trump. Here's the bottom line. Donald Trump is going to serve another term. We just don't know whether it will be in Washington or in prison yet. Well, as you might expect, Trump has been tweeting a lot today, and you could tell he's getting worried, because one of his posts said, they're finding Biden votes all over the place in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, and Michigan so bad for our country. Dude, they're not finding votes. They're counting them. Because <laughs> no one wanted to leave the house. Because there's a pandemic. A million votes still uncounted. Trump's campaign manager came out of the blue to announce, we are declaring a victory in Pennsylvania. Bold! And I fully expect his victory in Pennsylvania to be just as successful as his victory over coronavirus. Gosh, I hope this announcement doesn't overshadow me declaring myself People Magazine's sexiest man alive. As we speak, some states are still tallying the votes. Somehow Chuck E. Cheese can count a million tickets on the spot, and we still can't count the votes in three days? <laughs> I can't take the suspense anymore. My stress eating has gone from brownies to ice cream to just pouring raw cake mix down my throat. It is unimaginable to me that close to half of American voters saw what this man has done to this country over the last four years, how he kowtowed to Vladimir Putin, he cozied up to Kim Jong-un, he alienated us from our allies, he put children in cages, he villainized the, the free press, he hit his tax returns, he tear-gassed peaceful protesters, he pardoned all his criminal buddies, he extorted Ukraine, he misled us about COVID, he dismantled the pandemic response team, he dismantled health care, he called neo-Nazis very fine people, he hired a, a never-ending parade of imbeciles, he lied, he lied, he lied, and then he lied some more. He is a liar and a cheat who wants them to stop counting thousands of legitimate votes, and almost half of us are apparently okay with that. Half of us want to keep it going for four more years.